Hello everyone. Welcome to this course of Yellow V7. My name is Bappi Ahmed and I'll be your course instructor. So through this entire course, we'll be learning about Yellow V7. So if you have some custom data set and if you want to apply object detection and if you want to use this Yellow V7 model on top of that, so I will show you what are the stages you need to follow. So before starting installation of this Yellow V7, I just want to discuss with you one thing. Uh, so that whenever you are trying to uh, use YOLO v7 okay you are not gonna get confused so this is the YOLO v7 paper you can see uh, they have released okay this is the official paper and if you see there is a graph uh, comparison okay there is a uh, benchmark graph uh, you can see here so uh, this is the time okay as per the time this is the average precision so if you see the graph actually so uh, this is the YOLO v7 so this is the color so if you observe the color here and if you see the graph so it's telling like uh, if it is decreasing this time okay and increasing the average precision that means we are considering this model is better okay so if you see this uh, yellow v v7 okay so you can see here this uh, uh, inference time is also less and average precision is also high okay so uh, you can see like how powerful this model it is okay and uh, how good uh, it is performing uh, so this is the thing actually they have developed now if I show you the uh, github repo of this yellow v7 so this is the official version released yellow v7 uh, uh, like github repository if you see this is the official version uh, and this is the graph actually they have taken from the graph uh, they have taken from the paper and uh, yeah everything they have uh, written here like how to do the installation and all and uh, there is another yellow v7 you will get but this is the unofficial version of this yellow v7 okay uh, because uh, if you see here this is not official version so there there is another uh, organization okay they have uh, developed this yellow v7 but uh, the main uh, but the major difference uh, you will find in this yellow v7 is like uh, they have included also this instance segmentation here and phase detection okay so if you see they have included uh, instance segmentation and phase detection uh, because if you see if you remember your in yellow v5 okay uh, this kinds of uh, uh, task we didn't have okay in our uh, yellow uh, v5 architecture but uh, they have uh, included this kinds of instance segmentation and phase detection okay in our yellow v7 model now if i show you our official version of yellow v7 so here you will get some of the modification like uh, they have also included this key point detection and uh, pose estimation okay and uh, uh, in this course actually i will be discussing uh, about this official version of yellow v7 okay i'm not going to discuss about this unofficial version of yellow v7 if you are interested in okay so you can uh, go through this uh, repository and they have written each and everything like how to set up and all okay you can go through that uh, so let's open our official version of yellow v7 okay so this is the official version of yellow v7 you can see okay this is the repository so we'll be closing this repository and we'll be installing uh, their requirement packages so yeah this is the major changes they have done in this paper okay and these are the some benchmark okay they have shown okay so you can uh, go through the paper and all so we'll get like good idea about the paper and about this yellow v7 and all okay so this is the some uh, so these are some uh, benchmark uh, graph they have shown like uh, i i think uh, we have seen some of the graph okay uh, from this uh, uh, I can say this repository okay I I think I already showed you this graph okay so yeah guys uh, this was all about this uh, yellow v7 okay uh, like introduction of this yellow v7 uh, so in our next video uh, what I will do I will just uh, quickly uh, show you the installation of this yellow v7 like how to do the installation of this yellow v7 and all okay uh, then we will be starting our uh, object detection part okay using our custom data set so yeah guys uh, this was all about uh, from this video okay and thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time